You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Scoop one. John Favreau is planning to bring in Cal Kestis. Yeah. So let me what? give context for this. Let me yes, get so let's, so, let's go back. So, um, you know, so I got uh, contacted by my my insider inside of Disney slash Lucasfilm, uh, who I codenamed Sparrow. Uh, you know, they contact me when they contact me. I don't chase them unless something major is happening. And this was an unexpected contact that came yesterday with with a download of information that's very specific, more specific than they have been in the past. Uh, and this is stuff that is being that. I have to be careful how I phrase this. Let's let's just say let's just say this this is stuff that's not rumor. This is stuff that uh, they've been able to to confirm as, as at least being said by John Favreau within the office. Now you know whether the, all these things are going to pan out, we will see. But these these are things that Mr. Favreau has apparently said in front of multiple people who have been able to to confirm it. And so you know so. I'm sharing with this download information uh, that happened, and, and I put it all out yesterday. Uh, I spent pretty much the entire afternoon writing it up, and I had other work to do, but but I did it. Uh, and so the very first thing that that they revealed, because this whole context of information is, the, and this is the big ringer around all of this, the umbrella to go into this uh, scoop here, which is that Mr. Favreau has been talking in the Lucasfilm office, openly using the phrase, the post-Kennedy era. Right. Employees That's what I wanted to bring up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and people are like, what does that mean, boss? And, and yeah, he, he is the boss, whether he has a title or not, you know, titles and corporate structures don't mean anything in Hollywood, right? It's who's the person that you turn to in the room that you listen to when, when they start talking and he's that guy. So who's, uh, so what, 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 what do you mean by that boss? You know, post Kennedy or what are we doing? Right. And so this is, this is, this is what he's telling people uh, apparently, mm -hmm. um, you know, is uh, that number one is that the plan that he is setting in motion, he's the plan maker right now uh, of the future of star Wars and of Lucasfilm. The plan is to bring in Cal Kestis. Now uh, I have not played these games, but they're very, very popular games very in which popular. Which uh, Cal has has uh, featured, and on my Patreon, people have been, have been theorizing and asking, and and like, hey, when's Cal going to be brought in? I was like, Who, who's Cal, right? Because I just wasn't familiar with the game, right? So I didn't know how to, how to answer that. And then I was like, when I got my, I was like, who's Cal again? And I was like, oh, then they explained it to me. I was like, oh, okay, all right, this is pretty big. So as those of you know that you know he's he's in this sort of fallen order jedi fallen order uh games that have been out there's been two games that were released and they're essentially a survivor cal Kestis is a survivor of order 66 and uh and is off having some adventures with a night sister uh you know while, while the empire is hunting him down and so this character is, is uh, still around in in the timeline uh, that john favreau has in the post downfall of the empire world that he's been building with the mandalorian etc uh and so uh they their current plan is uh and again it can change today but as of yesterday, the plan that was being talked about in the office is to bring uh, Cal Kestis in as a character, a uh, significant character, in the second half of Ahsoka Season 2. So you know, Ahsoka Season 2 will begin. They'll have its story and adventures. Ahsoka is trapped, I guess, in the Southern Galaxy. So I'm sure she's going to have to get back to our galaxy. And in the second half, they're brought in. And so, and so yeah. So, um, you know, and so you, you're bringing up my Patreon there, but that's exactly it. So, you know. Yeah, let's read a little bit. Let's, let's read, read, a, let's, read, let's it, read yeah. a little bit. Um that you said according to Sparrow, which you you're saying Sparrow on on the most part is is usually sooner or later Sparrow's stuff comes comes out to be well, no, they, uh, it often comes through later, and you have to endure a lot of like ah, it's full of crap. There's no Sparrow, Sparrow. I have to listen to a lot of crap from people, mm -hmm. but eventually it comes through. I mean, I've talked about it last week that how you know Sparrow had said when when Daisy Ridley had announced or was forced to go up on stage and announce her movie uh, at mm -hmm. celebration, Sparrow's like nobody in the office knows what this is about. What the hell mm. is this? You know, only the inner circle. Kennedy seems to know anything about this, and you know she. And then people are like, ah, just crap. Blah blah blah. blah. Your your source isn't real. And then seven months later, nine months you know, later, you have Daisy Ridley saying in an interview, "I didn't know anything about this. I was just brought up on the stage. I was told about it at the last second. And she confirmed every single thing." Sparrow said to me, right? And so you sometimes have to endure garbage with people who just don't believe you until months go by. And of course, they're just saying negativity. So they don't even remember what they said. But this so, is, you know, yeah, this is something that that they are very confident that Fabro is saying around the office because multiple people have heard it, right? It's not one So person. let's read a little bit of it. Yeah. Um, the storyline John is currently playing with uh, is Cal's going on an artifact hunt with his night sister partner who opposes what Thrawn and the other night sisters are doing. So it appears that Marin is scheduled to appear as well. Faro's yeah, so Marin is this the, the night sister sort of girlfriend. Right, the night sister. Right. Yeah. Uh, currently, Faro's plan is to begin working on it after the Mando and Gorgu film is finished and the third 
Jedi Fallen Order game is done. So, that so timing wise, the timing you know, wise, yeah. Timing wise, so that seems to indicate, and I actually had a conversation with Sparrow on this. I was like, wait, so what does this mean for when 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 is Ahsoka getting released? Right. And they're saying, look, based on the current plan, the current plan appears to be to have Cal show up in Ahsoka at around the same time as the third video game is released. Makes mm -hmm. sense from a from a commercial point of view. You want to promote the character and people go, Oh, I, I didn't know this character. I, oh, there's a game, I can go buy a game, right? You want to parallel them. And so it and but Right now, all of John's focus creatively is getting this Mandalorian Grogu movie because he knows this is the resurrect Star Wars moments, like the title of your video. Or this is the resurrect. Star if this movie don't work, there's no resurrection. There's no. Done, there's right? no other. Uh, there's no. Yeah. Right. So timeline. Got to get so, this right. So he's like, and that movie is released in 2026. Mando's 26. So the, the idea is that Ahsoka season two, or at least the section of Ahsoka season two where Cal shows up, won't appear until after that movie. Till after that. Gotcha. Okay. And then the uh, video game is timed. And I did some research and the video game is timed for late 2026, early 2027. You know, I've worked oh, on a video yeah. game for, for 50 cent. Those those yeah. dates can move around a bit, but we've they, it fits in the time frame.